and we're gonna get started now hey there guys uh, welcome to another video my name is sparkman i'm a game developer today we're doing isometric movement now this is a follow-up of a previous tutorial now if i were to break this into uh, three parts uh, this will be part three okay so let me show you the demo and yes it looks like the previous uh, example except for this time i'm using the keyboard okay notice that i can't go through those walls i can on this side but uh, i don't have any collisions there assigned okay so let's open the example file which you are going to find under the description below now if you don't have the software download it there is a link down below okay so let's run the example file and if you run this and you press the arrows you notice that nothing happens but if you click around the um the ball you can see that you can move it all right so le okay so let's uh let me send this to back and let's place the walls the other one over here it doesn't need to be perfect okay i'm gonna send this to back now you notice that we have uh, a few counters and uh each one of these counters has a distinct icon counter number one it looks like this counter number two it's pink counter number three it's pink but it's more pink and counter number four it's sort of like purple so we're going by colors we're gonna make these objects visible at start by not making them invisible at start you can now see the um the sensors okay let's replace that top for user presses the up key now when that happens we're going to add one to our first counter And if this counter is greater than zero, then we keep adding one to it. So when the counter reaches at 10, we set it back to zero. Now we're gonna affect the position of the object. And right now this is set to minus 40, minus 20. So I'm going to set this to simply four and two and i'm going to drag this to line seven press up and you can see that works not too bad and uh now this is only going to work if this counter is set to zero now it's up to you but uh, you can replace this for user is holding the up key that works fine we should take out that sound goodbye sound you are annoying Here's our top sensor. We are going to call this uh, one. And uh, maybe I can give it an icon as one. And uh, this is only going to work if one is not overlapping the wall. Negate it, press up. And once we hit the wall, it doesn't work. Now for this example, I only have two walls, which would be this sensor here. Oh, that's right. Hang on a second. We need to do right. Okay, here is the uh, right one. Let's call this one number two. Let's give this also an icon. Numero dos. Which is right here. Aha. Scrolling button is not working. What's going on? He's been doing that all. He's been doing that the whole day. Why are you not scrolling? Someone needs a new mouse. After many tutorials, the mouse is gonna be gone. Oh, wait a second. Is that juice? Oh, it's probably coffee. My mouse is not scrolling. Um, it could be anything. It's alright, I'm gonna have to pick up a new mouse tomorrow. Okay, let's do this one here. Repeat while button is being pressed. The right key. Our counter number two needs to be set to zero. And object two not overlapping the wall. Let's change the position. Four. And minus two. Come on, scroll. I'm gonna copy these two lines. Copy. Paste. Scroll, scroll. And uh, let's replace this for the second counter. For the action, we're going to drag this down here. Instead of adding one to the first counter, we're going to add one to the uh, second counter. Set the second counter to zero. And try it out. And that works fine. So there is no point for me doing uh, another two because you already know how to do it. For the down direction, it's pretty much the same process. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you didn't like the video, smack the dislike button. And now it's time for the first and top comment. And today's top comment is... Poop. 
Spiders the Skeleton. Hola, soy Gentle Spy de Spy y hoy estamos en un video que trata de un análisis a Team Fortress 2 el cual. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye now.